Introduction to Systems Thinking. In this video, we'll define a dynamic system. We'll look at how that system is distinguished from its surroundings, and we'll examine the cause of a system's behavior. Systems thinking is a way of considering the whole rather than isolated parts of the system. Sustainable design requires that the designer be able to think holistically or use systems thinking. This graphic introduces the concept of a dynamic system. Dynamic means, of course, that the system is changing with time. We consider a system to be a group of interacting components. Remember that a system is really a concept de designed by those who are analyzing the system. It's not something real, it's really a, an idea. And here, the system is represented as a circle with a boundary. Again, the boundary is a concept of the system that we've designed as the analyst. The surroundings refers to everything outside of the system. So again, if the system is a concept that represents a group of interacting components. And the language that we use is that we have a boundary which differentiates between the system and the surroundings. Okay, I bet you're familiar with this system. Now notice we have a system boundary around the hand and the slinky. And you know the slinky bounces up and down when the hand is removed. Now my question is, what causes the slinky to behave the way it did? Is it the hand at the bottom that moved so that the slinky could drop from gravity? Is it gravity? Is it something about the spring itself? Is it the hand at the top? In a systems view, you'd say, gosh, it's everything working together that's causing the system to function as it's functioning. We can ask ourselves, if any one of the components of the system were eliminated, would the results be the same? And if the answer is no, then you know that really it's all elements functioning together that create behavior of the system. Okay, let's summarize. A dynamic system is a set of interconnected components that are changing in time. Systems are mental models whose boundaries are defined by the analyst. The behavior of a system is caused by all elements, their nature, and their interaction with one another. In the next video, we'll talk about a special case of systems, thermodynamic systems, and their key characteristics.